Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Um, I wanted to do a quick check-in really quick and kind of just go over a few things that um, I talked about in the last video and some of the things that I, I have been personally doing and using um, and what are my thoughts are on those items. So um, basically I have been, you know, making kefir shakes every day. Um, I consume a bottle of kefir a day. Um, so I use this brand, the Lifeway brand. Um, I drink this one here, um, and I know a lot of people don't like to have the flavored ones. They do have this one, the strawberry, the blueberry, and the plain organic flavor. Um, they have the organic, and then they have the just the normal one as well, so the non-fat or low-fat, something like that. Anyways, it's just the original flavor, um, so the original plain flavor. And um, a lot of people say that, you know, they recommend using that, and I do use that one. Um, I just get this one from time to time from Walmart because it's just a little bit cheaper. Um, now this is expensive stuff. This costs about three dollars a bottle, um, three fifty just depending on where you're going. Up to four bucks if you're going organic flavored, or I mean organic brand, and then you know the this organic regular flavor. They have the mixed berry flavor and I think another flavor in the organic one. But anyways, I utilize just the plain one. Um, and I just, I get the organic one from time to time too. I go to Dylan's for that or like uh, your local Kroger, King Supers, whatever that chain is in your area. Um, here it's Dylan's. So anyways, yeah, I go there and I like to go there just because they have more variety, but it's more expensive. So this is what Walmart has in stock and this is usually what I pick up. So yeah, <laughs> I do, I take one of these, I drink one of these a day. So what I do is I empty the whole entire bottle into the blender and I basically mix that up with, um, you know, any fruits, fresh fruits and vegetables that I have on hand, primarily um, pineapple and papaya. And the reason why I have incorporated those two particular um, fruits into my diet is because pineapple and papaya are both, they both have enzymes within them um, that help break down proteins. So I have found that beneficial to add into my drinks um, because it just helps me break down food. So if I do eat meat or something, you know, it's going to help break down that food faster. So that's why I have incorporated those two fruits. So I try to use those every day in a shake. Um, I use the maca root powder as well in my shake. Um, now maca root, just be aware, I does say on the bag, may contain peanuts, tree nuts, um, including coconut, milk, or soy. So um, just be mindful that I know a lot of people in the community, we don't utilize, we don't really try to stay away from things that are high choline, and I know a lot of nuts have high choline. Um, but I actually like maca root. Um, I know it has a lot of other benefits, and I know some people say it has some drawbacks, but I mean, I personally, pers I personally like it. I have been taking this for about, I mean, a few weeks now. Um, so anywhere from two to three weeks. The brand is Vivian or Viva Naturals. Sorry, not Vivian, Viva Naturals. Organic. <laughs> um, gelatinized maca root, uh, multi nutty flavor. So yes, yeah, definitely when I open the bag, it's very, very nutty. You get that very nutty scent to it. So that I do, I find that when I drink that in my shakes, I do have like a very earthy, kind of like nutty smell come out here and there um very light scent um but this i i i'm big on this um no it doesn't always necessarily make me smell better but it does make me feel better um and i feel like when i drink this i don't omit gases um which is a huge plus um i i do sometimes i'll get like a little bit of heat flashes and i think that's because of you know the dairy and sometimes that happens like with certain things when I eat certain things or if I drink certain things, I have certain reactions um, physically. So I, I I don't know if you guys have the same thing happen to you guys. Maybe, maybe not, but that's personally with me. Um, but anyway, so yeah, I do feel better when I drink this, okay? So this, um, the maca root powder, and then I'll get a bag of like frozen mixed berries or whatever, and I will drink that for breakfast. I try to make that last throughout the whole afternoon. So that's like typically I'll drink a whole, I'll make the whole uh, blender full. And that is usually like two containers worth. Um, one, I just drink a whole container and that's my quote unquote breakfast for the day. And then the other one I split throughout the day at work. Um, so I would drink half of the, the container 
and first break and the second half and I try not to eat anything in between that now when I come home if I eat a little bit of chicken or if I eat um you know rice and stuff like that like a meal or like some salad um I basically I sometimes have another shake um or I basically make sure I cook with pineapple so I've been also cooking with pineapple so I'll just chop it up and make like a kind of like a pineapple salsa or like a you know I don't know like I was making turkey or chicken like cutlets kind of like with like a, a pineapple and like jalapeno so kind of like a salsa in in the meat or whatever like marinade type of thing and it tastes really good um and I feel really good about it because like I said pineapple helps break down protein so if you're gonna eat and try to incorporate as much pineapple now if you're um allergic to pineapple um you can try papaya I mean papaya is also really good and that's another thing that I have incorporated into my diet and like I said again they broke both both help break down proteins and they have a ton of fiber so just a lot of benefits overall um chlorofresh again i have tried this now this is a nature ways um chlor chlorophyll the brand chlorofresh yes <laughs> okay anyways i feel like this is the brand that i i'm gonna try it and i'm gonna stay committed to it i have been drinking this for almost a month now and again, it's about the same run with the maca root. I kind of got these, I think I kind of told you guys, I kind of ordered these all around the same time, as well as the Paragard. Um, now this though, I, I want to say that usually the chlorophylls in the, in the past, I never really had any success with them. Um, but this particular brand, um, it is pretty good. It doesn't cost very much, about $21 or so, I think is what I paid on Amazon. Um, and the only thing is that it's mint flavored. And boy, is that not a lie. Like you literally are going to smell like walking mint. And it's it's good. It's a distraction. It, it's like, I don't know how to explain it. It's like sometimes I, <laughs> I'm like funky and then this mint is there. And it's like I just smell like super, super minted mint. Like if I just like slathered myself with like some Vicks or something. I don't know. Sometimes it's very intense. So that is also going to be just a, just be mindful, okay? Like it, some of these things, it, they are internally cleaning, cleaning you out and they are also like those scents are coming through. So um, this one, like I said, it it's very, very earthy, very nutty smell. So like when you have a it smell, like a sweet scent comes out kind of. So I think that this would be really awesome for people who probably don't have our condition because they would probably smell really nice like when they sweat. But I have a nice scent coming here and there out is what I've noticed. And even when I wear like certain perfumes now, um, here at my pulse points, it smells really nice. And then the scent of the actual perfume I can smell rather than when I used to wear perfume, it would be mixed with like a trashy scent. Um, now here and there, when I sweat, it still does that, but it's not as intense. Um, so then this guy right here. So this is the Paragard. Um, I think the brand is Zoller. I don't know. Anyways, it's, it's the, the, um, Parasite Cleanse. Okay, so I do like this product. Um, this product here is very... You, you can take it for 10 days. I, I personally have it and I've had it for longer than 10 days. I have not fully committed to trying this every day for 10 days. Um, you take X amount of drops. I think it's like 30 drops for really intense. And you basically drink water and I drink a ton of water throughout the day. So yeah, that's another thing that I do daily in my diet is drink a ton of water. Um, but yeah, so this guy right here, it has a ton of, of herbs in it. Okay. And it, my number one scent that I get from it is the oregano oil, like uh, literally the intense oregano oil. Now it does have some other ones that are on there that are like, you can probably pick up on, but when I take this, I feel like it is helping cleanse out the system, um, but I, the smell as well. So like the smell is very intense coming out of your body. So like that, this is going to make you smell like walking herbs <laughs> and that's a good thing sometimes and sometimes it's not because people are just going to like, what's that weird smell? But it's, I don't know how to, you decide guys, do you want to smell like this? herbal stuff or like you know funk <laughs> sometimes it's a toss-up i don't know but anyways yes very very oregano scent okay that oregano oil comes out i can smell the oregano oil whenever like i start moving and sweating and stuff like that so i don't i don't know personally i feel like it does yes 
work because it's putting a whole lot of herbs inside of you and maybe that's why you're only supposed to take it for 10 days but i haven't committed to taking it for 10 days so that's probably my problem and i probably need to stay committed to doing this and i feel like just with this one though like i would want to be on a fast a complete fast for it and here lately i haven't been on a fast like a committed fast like i've been doing this shake and drinking a, a bottle of this every day and i've been drinking this for about 30 days now okay so i stay consistent with with this i don't now i haven't been drinking it for 30 days no that's what i wanted to go. there i have been drinking it for 30 days every day consistently one bottle um i didn't i haven't done that in the past I, or i never did that in the past i would get these because like i said these are expensive you know so like buying a bottle of this every day is like a pain in the butt so i go to the, the store like every couple of days and i'll pick up like you know two or three bottles or if they have four in stock i'll grab all four of them i mean whatever i can pick my hands up on is what i get and then all of my next trip to the store i pick up more but i consistently try to drink one shake a day okay so that's just me and i do probably want to try to just do the organic plain um since i already am putting in a bunch of sweet berries and all that other stuff now that's another thing with the shakes you can do um spinach you can do your greens in it um you know what i mean i personally i do those kind but the smell intensifies a whole lot more when i put more stuff in it so i'm trying to stick to just these things celery i do a bunch of celery so celery i do fine when i eat celery drink celery add it into my shakes it does give me a very um clean scent as well come through and i think that that helps a lot when you're trying to like you know cleanse your body and um i just feel like with me i need to give myself more time um doing cleanses and just stay committed to those cleanses and like you know continuously doing that but um i do that i do intermittent fasting so like i said i do the whole you know i drink a shake in the morning i drink a shake throughout the afternoon and i don't eat any solid foods um now if i do eat solid foods it's fruit it's freshly cut up fruit um so that's one thing and then when i come home if i do want to have some protein or if i do decide to eat like you know um the other night we had i think it was like wings with um cauliflower broccoli and carrot mix and then some white rice um but i again with the meat that was cut up i had onions i had jalapenos i had um fresh pineapple um just fresh ingredients fresh garlic so you know i cook with a lot of prebiotics and probiotic foods that's another benefit and i think that also helps me kind of like just get rid of things in the morning and flush myself out and like i said a lot a lot of water um but i do want to stay committed to the the keeper shakes um i think overall this and this i'm gonna give it a little bit of credit have been helping a whole lot more with consistency um the maca root like i said i don't have i haven't personally experienced too many negative side effects with it i feel like it's been more beneficial um i don't know i feel really good taking it i guess it just makes me feel a little bit more like I guess I don't know maybe it is helping balance out hormones I have no idea but it just makes me feel really good over overall I guess maybe energy and like just I don't know I don't see any downside to that the Paragard I, I like the Paragard um I do feel like it helps yes I feel like all the herbs in the Paragard are beneficial um I think with consistency I think I need to hold myself consistent to, to drinking that um but yeah I think this I'm gonna continue this for sure this i i stand i stand by i mean i just know that i have better results when i drink this overall um now it doesn't completely take away the odor at all by any means um but i feel like i just have a cleaner i have a cleaner environment in my body and i can tell because it's very odd but like from here up i don't have a bad scent now breath wise um yes okay I do feel like breath wise, like the odor is very strong. So I do try to work on gargling with this guy here as well. So that's probably why I use, I mean, I've used quite a bit of this pretty fast. So, um, and I, it is, what is it? One to two tablespoons and four ounces of water. I probably drink this like twice a day. So I take it more than what it's recommended. Um, you know. <coughs> oh excuse me sorry 
<sighs> okay. So, yeah, I I do like this, though. I do like this one. I just, like I said, the, the mint is very, very strong. It does come through very strong. So, you are going to smell very minty with that particular brand. Um, but I do like that it doesn't have alcohol. A lot of these have had tried before in the past. They had alcohol, and I feel like they would just dry my mouth out really bad. And they would just make me smell way, like, way worse. I So, yeah, I'm glad. But this, yes, I do um 100 believe that these are helping the shakes are helping way more probably than anything else and i think if i honestly started incorporating well i've done this in the past but i did uh what is it like probiotic foods like um like a lot of fermented foods um so i think i'm gonna try that again when i did that i had like immediately like my body was just like releasing all the bad stuff out it was so crazy i was just like flushing like, and that's another thing that, like, I talked about in the prior um, video is that, like, colonics and things like that. I don't have a, we don't have a place here where I'm at um, to get that kind of service done. So, hopefully in the future I can go somewhere to get one done and kind of gain some experience on how that works. Coffee enemas as well. Um, I'm kind of scared to just do those things on my own. So, I kind of would want to do them professionally first and then kind of give you guys my feedback on how... I perceive that to help me um but anyways what I definitely what I recommend is this okay so get you some of this if you want to do the original go for the original maybe incorporate a ton of um fermented foods fermented drinks um so if you have the time to make kombucha if you want to buy kombucha that's fine I personally had I used the store-bought kombuchas and I personally don't like those they're not strong enough they have great flavor and that's probably the problem is that they actually taste really good um they're they're okay to drink i just don't feel like I, it's personally doing anything good for me so I, I i i you know i don't really use those anymore um i do have some kefir water grains so i want to try water kefir i just haven't I, I think i have to get like molasses so and something else because you have to like i think it's cane sugar and some other ingredient that you need and i haven't gotten that so i haven't tried those um but i want to try those two in the future but for right now like i said i'm definitely going to stick to you know these two things here drinking this consistently every day probably trying to switch over to just the plain one and see if that helps um but yeah a, one a day um lots and lots of vegetables if you want to go ahead and throw your fruits in i mean your um lots of fruits and vegetables but if you want to make your shapes with you know best vegetables and fruits so by all means you do what you got to do i just personally so, so certain things work for me certain things don't work for me so like i said i have been seeing a whole lot of improvement with the you know um adding adding pineapple <laughs> Uh, papaya using the papaya seeds maca root celery and then just the kefir and some berries and that has been helping me quite a bit um now i know it's been helping me nasal wise um and for those of you you know who have you know nasal passage problems that pineapple helps a lot with that so it's supposed to be really good for that i don't know but those are the things that i have been trying and like i said again in the future i want to try colonics and see if i can you know have a a colon cleanse done and see if that improves um maybe try to do a kidney stone like cleanse liver flush in the future um but i think you know staying committed to these products some of these products in the long run are going to help a lot so those are just my personal recommendations guys if you were looking for a few different products or if you were wondering how these things have been helping me or not helping me that's basically the rundown of the products i have personally gotten and whether i feel they are beneficial or not beneficial so chlorophyll yes um just just take it daily every day i mean i think in the long run it's overall gonna help you um the paragard it's not a bad idea um like i said there's a lot of beneficial herbs in here so do i recommend this product i recommend that you should try it and see if maybe your problem doesn't lie within parasites so yes um this just overall internal help cleansing and freshening the body so in the long run i don't see it being a problem if committed to so yes maca roots uh do your research on maca roots see if you should add it to your diet i don't know it has nuts and so yeah if you're allergic to that stuff be mindful <laughs> um 
Kiefer, uh, yes, big yes. Um, so definitely do this, um, the shakes. I don't know, I feel like in the long run, this definitely does help. Um, it's not going to be, some people do experience right away benefits, but I have personally not. I do feel like it helps though in the long run. So yes, drink this if you can, preferably once a day, one whole bottle. But if you can't, I mean as much as you can. So, and um, yeah, I, I mean, that's pretty much all I have for you guys. Um, thank you guys so much for the for all the likes, views, and shares. Um, continue helping grow the channel. I appreciate you guys checking in and, you know, just seeing how everybody's progress is going. Um, I personally also have been just kind of like de-stressing myself so I've been kind of like meditating and doing like stretching as well as like practicing breathing uh, techniques I feel like sometimes when I'm at work I will be overstressed or I will find myself mentally like going through it and then I just have been like <sighs> inhale <sighs> exhale moments you know and it's just been really good and sometimes like I said I've just been sitting down, getting outside or going out in the sun and like just breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out and just kind of practicing like, you know, gaining inner peace because you need it when you have this condition and it's just like, you need some kind of exit, like not exit, but like you need some kind of um outlet to like, you know, help yourself just de-stress because we have a ton of different things going on, whether it's, you know, physically, mentally, emotionally, we are always going through it and so that is one thing that i want to recommend is getting some time to yourself or just getting out of your house and just gaining inner peace with yourself and accepting things for the day and just like i don't know just practice you know as much as you guys can self-love and don't forget that you guys are you know definitely worth um living a happy lifestyle and being happy again so Hopefully these products will help you guys um, in the long run as they have helped me a little bit. Like I said, they haven't helped me like relieve this whole entire problem. No. Um, am I cured? No. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you guys. But these products help to some extent. Okay. Um, so like I said, you know, you definitely check these things out. A lot of these things I buy locally or I've bought online on Amazon. So like I said, again, like the uh, maca root, the chlorophyll, the paragard, um, slippery elm. That's another thing I forgot to talk about, but that one does help with bowel movements um, and kind of cleansing the body out. But those things I have actually just purchased off Amazon. Um, the sour sops, I never really actually did a whole lot with the sour sops, guys. I, ha I, I want to try that again too, but like I said, a lot of these things are hard to commit to. The taste of a lot of these things are just like horrible. So, I, I mean, I don't know. So yeah. That does not help me commit to those things and stay consistent on them. Um, the things that taste good, I stay committed to. <laughs> the things that don't taste as good, I mean, I still stay pretty much committed to it. I've been trying to stay committed to it because, again, do I feel like they're helping in the long run? Yes, I do. So, but yeah, that's my just my quick check-in, guys, with you guys. And um, just kind of let you guys, give you guys some brief info real quick. Some of the things, like I said, again, who have helped me or are like, you know, I'm trying to stay consistent with and... I will keep you guys updated. I will do another check-in in uh, like maybe a few weeks or so um, or maybe like a, from month to month and make these ones more like of a how is this working for me type of thing. Um, let me know what you guys think. If you guys like this, if you guys want more information on other things that um, you know are beneficial diet-wise um, that you guys would like to just want to know about in general or whatever, I'll give you guys some update on that. Um, but yeah, otherwise, thanks again for all the likes, shares, subscribes, the follows. Thank you so much for everybody who's subscribing to the channel. Um, I appreciate you. You are, you know, so appreciated. And I just want to say thank you guys again for the constant support um, that I receive and love on this channel. Thanks, guys. Have a great night.